Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Amona Project. We here at the Amona Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to inspiration, education, uh, information, guidance, advice. And um, I was reading um, Parshas Balak, uh, the passage in Deuteronomy chapter 24, where it talks about the, uh, the prophet, uh, the Gentile prophet Bilam. And uh, the, uh, the verse uh, that goes, uh, and the words of the man with the open eye. This is a description of uh, the Gentile prophet Bilam, the man with the open eye. Now, there are two, there are many interpretations, but there are two interpretations uh, that we see. Um, the Talmud in uh, Masek the Sanhedrin says that this means that Bilam was blind in one eye. So the, the man with the open eye, he only had really one open eye, one real eye. That's what it means. Targum Onkelos, this is the, uh, uh, the Aramaic uh, translation uh, of, uh, of the Hebrew uh, by Onkelos. Um, it says, no, 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 no. Uh, what it meant uh, with the open eye, it means that Bilam had a special vision in one eye. Um, so, how do we square these two? Uh, the, 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 the passage in uh, Sanhedrin with the interpretation of um, Uncleus. Well, the Baal Shem Tov comes to our rescue. He says, he says that the two are actually compatible. In order, uh, as part of the process of being a, a prophet, a prophet uh, purifies himself, his body, his organs, is just... Uh, it's all part of the, part of the um, process. Bilam had a problem. He didn't have the Kedusha, he didn't have the holiness. He was actually the antithesis of holiness. He was a Russia, he was a wicked person. So how does he get this prophecy? It is said, uh, by the Tov, that Hashem, the Creator, blinded one of his eyes. He no longer was able to function. And since it was out of order, as it were, Bilam was unable to contaminate it. And it was through this blind eye that he was able to, to see uh, and to have that, uh, that prophetic uh, uh, insight. Um, had he not been blind in that eye, he could never have achieved the, uh, the level of prophecy uh, that he had. And um, this blind eye, perception, reminded me of a very poignant story from the Holocaust. There was a, a Nazi officer uh, in the SS who took a perverse, obscene delight in shooting little children. Talk about a Russia. He came upon a young woman that was cradling a very, very young child, a baby, a young toddler, in her arms. Immediately, his bestiality, this perverse desire to, to shoot little kids, infants, was aroused in him. He's ready to go. The woman pleaded, the woman begged for him to spare her child. He says, Please, don't do this. I can see a spark of compassion in your eye. Please, spare my child, cried the mother. The Nazi, the, the SS officer, was shocked at the mother's claim. In which eye do you see the, the spark of compassion? What, what are you talking about? To his surprise, the young mother pointed to his right eye. The Nazi said, you're right, that eye isn't genuine. It's a glass eye that was implanted by a master surgeon. How were you able to tell? And the woman was shaking with fear. She says, I saw no evil in that eye because as you said, it's not authentic. It's not part of you. 
the Nazi spared the child and the mother. And this relates to Bilom. That eye that could not see, that was the one that uh, had the gift from God. Uh, that was the one that was not corrupted by his wickedness. We're going to be doing more uh, videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. And until next time, on behalf of the Amuno Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you so much.